Hey, this is Philip at MLC CAD, and today I'm going to make an extremely efficient mesh in SOLIDWORKS simulation. By increasing the number of triangles you see here, I can increase the accuracy of my results. However, doing this will also increase my solve time. Since my time is valuable, so are my mesh triangles, so I'm only going to increase them where it really counts, like where you see red. I'll also decrease the number of triangles in the dark blue regions, which will save me some time. A mesh control is a great tool for altering the size of triangles in one spot instead of doing it globally. If the global mesh is a shotgun, local mesh controls are the sharpshooters, but I'm going to take it one step further than that. My dad always told me to let the tool do the work, so I'm going to let SOLIDWORKS determine for me where the mesh shells, cells should become smaller and where they should become larger in order to create a highly efficient simulation. This technique is called H-adaptive meshing, and it's found in the study properties. H is simply the size of the triangles that I'm going to let SOLIDWORKS adapt to my model in an iterative fashion. I can tell SOLIDWORKS how many times I want it to iterate and how accurate I want it to be. I'll even enable mesh coarsening, which will create a larger triangles in those dark blue regions where not much is going on. All that's left to do is rerun my study, sit back, and relax. After each run, my mesh becomes more and more efficient not only improving my results, but saving me from the time-intensive shotgun approach of increasing the triangle count globally.